Manoj Publication presents All in One Computer Course. To select any topic, click on its button. Select any option by clicking it. Select any option by clicking it. Select language. We can select any language and make it default. Suppose we want to make UK English as a default language, then click on Choose in menu bar. Click on Language. Click on Set Language. Now, the language dialog box will open. To select your language, click on scroll button. Now, click on English UK. Click on OK button. Now, the English UK will be your default language. This chapter is finished. Spell checking. In MS Words, there is a facility of checking the spelling and grammar. To do this, click on Choose in menu bar. Click on Options. Click on the Spelling and Grammar tab in the Options dialog box. Now, ensure that check spelling as U-type and check grammar as U-type option are selected or not. Now, click on OK button. Now, we can see red color baby line below the wrong spellings. This chapter is finished. Synonyms. In MS Word, you can check the text for the synonyms. For example, if you want to see synonyms of any word, then select that word and double click it. Click on the tools in the menu bar. Click on the language. Click on the Thesaurus. Thesaurus dialog box opens up in which you can select any synonyms. This chapter is finished. Counting the words. In MS Word, you can automatically count the word in a document. If you want to count the word in your document, then click on the tools in menu bar. Now, click on word count. Now, word counter dialog box will open up, in which the correct number of your given word will be shown as how many times it appears in the document. To close the dialog box, click on Cancel. This chapter is finished. How to set auto text? In MS Word, there is a feature of auto text. This enables you to avoid repeatedly typing same word. This saves your time. Using auto text, you can complete a sentence in your document. Click on Insert in menu bar. Click on Auto Text. Click on 
closing. Click on Sincerely Yours. Now, Sincerely Yours will be added in your text. Using auto text, you can add a word that is not in a document. To do this, click on Insert. Click on Auto Text. Click on Auto Text. The Auto Correct Click Down Ads opens up. Type Wonderland. Now, Wonderland will be added in the list. Click on OK. This chapter is finished. Adding page number. In MS Word, you can add page numbers. To do this, click on Insert in menu bar. Now, click on page numbers. The page number dialog box opens up. In page numbers, dialog box set the position and alignment of the page number. Click on OK. Thus, page number sets as per given position and alignment. This chapter is finished. Using Drop Cap If you want to have attention of the reader on any particular text, then you can set it a drop cap. There are two types of drop caps in MS Word. First is dropped and second is in margin. Click on Format. Click on Drop Cap. Now, Drop Cap dialog box opens up. Click on Dropped. Click on the drop down button to select the font. Now select Arial font in drop down menu. To select the drop down in three line, click on it. Click on OK. Now you will see that. The first letter of the selected paragraph is enlarged up to three lines. This chapter is finished. Changing alignment of the text. In MS Word, you can change alignment of the text. In MS Word, there are four types of alignments. They are left, right, center, and Justify. Click on Center. Thus, the matter will be aligned in Center. Click on Right. Now, the matter will become right aligned. Click on Justify. Now, Matter will become justified. Click on left. And the matter will become left aligned. This chapter is finished. Selecting all the text. You can select all the text without help of the mouse. Click on edit. Click on Select All. 
Now, all the text will be selected. To remove the selection, you can click anywhere outside the text. Thus, selection will be finished. This chapter is finished. Finding words Sometimes, it becomes very difficult to find a word in a document. With the help of MS Word, you can find a word in the document. Click on Edit. Click on Find. Now, Find and Replace dialog box opens up. Here, type a word that you want to find. For example, type Peacock. Click on Find Next. Your specified word will be highlighted. This chapter is finished. Replacing Word In Amos Word, you can replace a word from another word. Click on Replace. You will see that in Find What Box, Peacock Word is given. Now, to replace this word from word Dog, type the new word Dog in the Replace With. Editing in Word In MS Word, you can edit your document. You can use Cut, Copy, Delete to Copy, or Remove the Word. You can copy any text from one place to another in the document. To select Paragraph, click on the beginning of the paragraph Now, click on the end of the paragraph to select. Now, click on Edit. Click on Cut. Click on Edit. Click on Paste. The matter that you have cut from one place will be pasted on another place. Click on the beginning of the paragraph. Click on the end of paragraph. Now, whole paragraph is selected. Click on Edit. Click on Copy. Click on Edit. Click on Paste. Now, the matter is pasted on the new place. This chapter is finished. Header and footer The header and footer are used in almost documents which are to be printed. You can make the headers and footers using text and images. The header appears on the top of the page, but the footer appears at the bottom of the page. If you set header or footer in a document, then it appears in all the pages automatically. Suppose you want to put Wonderland as a header and page number as footer. Then 
click on view. Now, click on header and footer. Now, type Wonderland in header. Click on Switch between header and footer in toolbar of header and footer. Click on Insert Auto Text. Click on Page X of Y. Thus, the page number will be added as footer. This chapter is finished. Page Setup Using Page Setup, you can change the look of your document. In MS Word, there are two ways of displaying pages. They are vertical and horizontal. The vertical page is long in height, but the horizontal page is long in width. Click on File in menu bar. Click on Page Setup. Click on Landscape. Click on OK. Now, the page is set as per given specification. This chapter is finished. Printing the Word Documents You can view the page before printing and can have idea that how it will look after printing. Click on File Menu. Click on Print Per View. Now, you will see the print view of your document. To close it, click on Close. To print the document, click on File. Click on Print. Click on OK. If the printer is connected to the computer, then printing will be started. This chapter is finished.